Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, back with more cool and unique camp locations for you. Starting off in the forest this week with a cave. Oh yeah, there's a cave in the forest, and some of you are probably going to like where it's located. Well, uh, a group of you will like it, a group of you will hate it. It's just the way it's going to be. Now there's not a lot going on inside the cave, but... It's a cave, which automatically makes it cool. Not a whole lot of caves out there. And given its location, some people are going to put a high value on it. Which is weird, because used to, its location would have lowered its value. Now above the cave, there is an archery target and a hole that goes down into it. Now I was thinking, you know what? If you set up a shop right here, I wonder if you could put like an arrow sign pointing down and have people drop in the hole into your shop. I know it's a weird thing, but it is really close to 76, and I know people are looking at being close to 76 for the free fast travel towards their camp. Not for them, but for their buyers. Now to Toxic Valley, where I have a few different houses. It's almost like from left to right you have a before, a during, and an after. First house, in pretty good shape. And I do like this porch right here. It's a pretty cool little thing. Now inside, you got a decent amount of floor space to work with. And I want to say that the debris pile on the floor will probably let you plant crops in it. I can't say for certain, because I haven't set up an actual camp here. But from experience, I feel like that's how that's going to work. Now you do have a fair amount of space up here on the second floor, at least vertically, if you can take advantage of that. Now I'm not a big fan of the holes in the floor, or the bed being all crapified. I mean, no one likes a broken bed. Maybe someday we'll get lucky and we'll actually be able to scrap that kind of stuff to get it out of our way. But I feel like that's probably asking a bit much. But we can hope, right? We can hope. Now back you do get a little playground type area, which is kind of cool, with a soccer ball. You don't see that many soccer balls out in the wasteland. You can't pick them up, you can only kick them around. But hey, it's a soccer ball. Now the second house, it is quite a bit more destroyed than the first house. And additionally, I think... It, if you place your camp just right, you should be able to have the first house and the second house inside your camp area. And you can marsupial your way up, or if you're living here, you can just build your way up. But there's not a, a whole lot to worry about up here. Other than, you know, there, there's a broken lamp. Which, hey, that's copper, right? Uh, copper's cool. The third house... I doubt many people are going to be using this one as part of their camp. But you do get some Psycho inside and a weapon spawn right there. So, I mean, it is a pipe weapon. Not, not that impressive. So odds are you're just going to pick it up and scrap it. Out back you got some salt, because why not? And for the most part, this wraps up this location. Other than the mailboxes, because they do have mailboxes out front. In case you want to take advantage of it. So, you should be able to get both of the houses, if you would like. You'll find it right up here. It's near the shooting range, which puts you fairly well-centered up in Toxic Valley. Now, let's move on to the Ash Heap. And, I don't know if y'all are going to be with me on this one. Because, uh, I'm going to go a little bit more on the st sadistic side. So we got this tree down here with the hanging mannequin and all that kind of good stuff. And this tree is surrounded by landmines. I have seen an enemy spawn over here once. I don't know how often they will actually spawn or run over here. But yeah, tree surrounded by landmines. Evil thought, this is what you do. You try to build your house so it looks like it's up in the tree. You put... Your vendor, uh, vending machines, down near the bottom of the tree. 
So when someone spawns in, they go, oh, vending machine, run over to it, landmines, explosions, people crying, and yeah, you're going to be a butthole, all right? People aren't going to like you, but if that's what you want to do, you'll get some laughs out of it. Well, not from them, but you'll be laughing. Just a thought, but let's move on to the Savage Divide, where I've got this it's a pretty cool picnic area, but enemies will spawn here. Now this time when I showed up, it was mole rats, my most hated adversary. I can't remember what else I've seen here, because it, it was such a big gap between me uh, finding the spot originally, and then finally getting to come back to record it. I want to say it was like Radstag, but I could be completely wrong. Now, I do like that you got this board over here that you could just throw some posters on or something like that. And yeah, the enemies definitely kill me because this would be an amazing spot if it wasn't for them showing up to harass you. But if you're willing to make the sacrifice... You'll find it right up here. It is going to put you a little bit higher on the map than I know most of you would like to be. But there it is. Now let's move into the mire. Oh, the lovely, lovely mire. Now I know a lot of you are going to be familiar with this location. Treehouse in the middle of the road with super mutants fighting a sentry bot or a death claw or oh my god... I'm sure you wouldn't want to camp here, because I wouldn't want to camp here. But if you're if you're crazy and and you want to be punished by all the craziness that goes on here, have at it. There's a little bit of stuff that you can loot from around here, not a whole lot, but there's stuff. Now I don't I don't know what to say about this other than good luck if you're camping here. You're going to need it. Because I'm I'm fairly certain you're going to be repairing stuff quite often. Now I'll show you the location here in a minute, but I do want to go ahead and say that I'm not going to show a Cranberry Bog location. Mostly because I've burnt through all of the cool spots that I that I've found and I really don't want to waste your time showing just basic lame stuff that you're not going to care about. But if you really want me to bring you more, I can. It's just not going to be super amazing. But either way, that's going to wrap up all the locations for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. And please remember to like, sub, and share. Later!